Hi, and welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, and we have a fantastic show for you today. We're gonna introduce you to a new restaurant. To me, it's Bistro Rossian, and you're gonna love it, especially if you love Italian food. We've also got the Egg and I joining us, and they are doing one of their Texas skillets that is so, so good. You're not gonna wanna miss that one. And the River Food Pantry is being joined by the Daisy Cafe and Cupcakery to highlight one of their fabulous events and of course some great cupcakes. It's all on your guide to the best restaurants in town so you can skip the rest and enjoy the best. We'll tell you where to go coming up on the Restaurant Show. Hi and welcome back to the Restaurant Show. I'm pretty excited about this show because we've got quite the spread here and I'm going to learn a little bit about a restaurant I haven't yet learned much about. So I'm excited to chat with Ian Anderson. He is the owner of Bistro Racien. Very good. I've been practicing my pronunciation. <laughs> I think I got it. So thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. I'm really glad to have you. Now this looks like a lot of good food. We're going to run through some of the things that we have on the table today for you folks at home. And as always, I'll make sure and let you know if it is as delicious as it looks. Of course it is. So, um, one of the things we're talking a little bit about today is pizza. And you have some pizza that is, first of all, I love the fact that you've done a half and half. Yes. Because then you can please everybody in the house, right? Yeah, we and get a lot of that. And everyone at the restaurant. Yep. So, a half and half pizza is always good, but what makes your pizza different, do you think? Besides the fact that I can guarantee nowhere in Madison has the chef back there toiling, hand mixing 25 pounds of pizza dough at a time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. 25 pounds. Everything by hand, everything's from scratch. Wow, so. that's really great. We love to feature restaurants like that because it's so, it's getting rarer and rarer. People are taking more and more shortcuts and so it's so nice to have somebody that uh, has everything by, by hand and 25 pounds at that. What does 25 pounds of pizza dough look like? Give me some. About, yeah, you know, bus little, tub full. Yeah, so <laughs> Okay, so you obviously make a lot of pizza, which is a good sign. Yes, it pizza, is. People are eating a lot of pizza. Now this one, is a half and half. So let's first, let's talk about each half individually. Okay, we have the Gotella Versace. This is a little addendum. She threw some extra mozzarella on here today, um, which is goat cheese, uh, spinach, um, and a little of our homemade pesto, okay. and then the sausage he pizza. Had, he had me at goat cheese, and <laughs> yeah, I'm going right. in. Go in for the kill. Yeah, okay. So tell me again, goat cheese, Goat cheese, spinach, and pesto. I blacked out after the goat cheese. <laughs> Drizzle of pesto. Okay. All right, looks good. So I'm gonna, just for the sake of mess, do, go fork, but you know, you can eat it however you like when you're at the restaurant. Oh my God, that is awesome. Thank you. Goat cheese, you know, I'm not sure I've often had goat cheese on a pizza. Yeah, we really like good. to do a lot of delicate, fresh flavors. Mm -hmm. you know? um, today we brought the sausage as well because we blend our own sausage. We get raw sausage and then we blend it with our own herbs, okay. et cetera, et cetera. Um, and speaking of herbs, we do 90% of our herbs mm -hmm. and uh, produce come from a local organic farm right outside of Columbus. Oh, that's so nice. So, okay. um, I love that. So we'll dig into this this one here too. Yeah, Notice I'm piece. getting the biggest piece, not an accident, <laughs> folks. Don't adjust your set. All right, so this one looks awesome too. And now I've got a plate full. But that's the best part about half and half is you can try different kinds, right? I'll say I'm going to tell you what I tell the customers: pace okay. yourselves, because oh. you know this is all a whole lot of stuff going on. It is. <laughs> it's a lot. And of course, with every meal, we make mm -hmm. a home baked challah bread okay, with that. an olive oil and herb dipping oil for each table, and she awesome. literally bakes that in-house, knots it in-house, everything is fresh, fresh, fresh. I love the sauce, really good. Ancient Brooklyn secret. Oh my gosh, oh, you're not, gonna give me, <laughs> nope. you're not giving me the, nope. the ingredients today on TV, huh? No. Nope. Right. I'll make room here. So, outside of pizza, I can see some other beautiful dishes here. Now you do uh, hand-rolled rolled ravioli. That is correct. Tell me a little bit about this dish. Nobody in Madison, I can guarantee you, does this. This is a hand-rolled ravioli. We take the fresh ingredients from whatever is locally sourced, seasonal at that time. Um, this particular one is a homemade chicken marsala ravioli wow. um, with our house marinara sauce. And of course, she had to throw her famous meatballs on there too, just because she wants to wow. show off. Um, but you need to give that a whirl. Okay, yeah, will do. The raviolis... Go back um, to my fork here. Yeah, the raviolis uh, go through uh, variety because it depends on what she gets that week for fresh ingredients. Oh, wow. So it's constantly rotating. You have to check out on sure. the website to see, oh, well, this weekend we're having spinach and goat cheese. Or That's how we're you having, know it's fresh, is because uh, sometimes you always get the same things fresh. Okay. 
Mmm, that's awesome. Wow. That's way better than the stuff I ate as a kid. <laughs> With that, I hope so. Yeah. Oh, so good. Is that the same sauce or different? No, it's different. We have wow. a separate marinara, we have a separate pizza sauce, we do a uh, meat sauce, which is also different, and Love then her Alfredo is off the charts. We get okay. a very high volume of Alfredo out of that kitchen. Oh, okay. So if you're a sauce fan, which I am, you're in good shape. Now let's talk a little bit about this dish. This one looks a little bit more unique. So yes. tell me what's, what we've got. This is the chef's brainchild. Um, mm -hmm. It is a saffron chicken, which a lot of people don't cook with saffron. It's a very expensive herb. Yeah. Um, it is um, basically flower pestules. It's fragrant, but light, but it has very distinct flavor. And people are like, oh, what does saffron taste mm -hmm. like? You can't explain it, you just have to do it. And everybody who's done it loves it. Okay. So this is, um, it's chicken with saffron, with a uh, variety of whatever, mm -hmm. vegetables, Don't the worry, pasta. Don't worry, I'm going to try it. No, oh, no. yes. People You're at home were starting in. to wonder if I lost my touch, my edge. Okay, so this looks awesome. Do you, people usually kind of mix it together and do pasta? And It depends. It right, depends. pasta lovers out there, they're going to kill me for the way I'm eating this because it's not traditional, but it looks good. I'm going to combine them. Is that okay? That works? That's all right. Mm-hmm. I made a mess as usual. Half of it's in my hand, but the part that's in my mouth is spectacular. Really yeah. good. Now, what's that? What is the flavor of saffron? You kind of explained it. It's a unique flavor. It is, and like I said, it's it's fragrant and bold, but you only yeah. need a little bit, a touch. You're right. Yeah. And it's you like can't little, explain it. You just veggies. kind of have. It doesn't compare to anything else. It doesn't compare it pair to mm. other herbs. So you really have to just go with it. It's all good. I don't know what I would order when I when I visit next. It's all delicious, but. Um, some great sauces. Of course, the best is last. She makes oh. a homemade panna cotta. She does homemade tiramisu. All of the desserts are scratch, scratch, and they, the tiramisu and the cannolis are mm -hmm. standard, but the panna cotta, which is a great light pudding-like mm -hmm. dessert, is so easy to blend with any flavor, so she'll go berries. This is a salted caramel panna cotta. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so good. Wow. I'm going in for a second one. We're going to go to break. <laughs> but it's all fabulous food. I love it. Thank you for sharing this with us. Thank you. This is Ian Anderson with Bistro Racian. Thanks for right. being here. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We got more coming up after the break, so stay right there. Stick around, because after the break, the Daisy Cafe and Cupcakery is telling us how we can give back to the River Food Pantry. Welcome back to the restaurant show. It is time to have a little visit from the Daisy Cafe and Cupcakery. And joining me to my left is our friend Daryl Sisson, one of the owners. Thanks for being here. So happy to be here. Glad to have you. And I want to make sure that we introduce Amy. We're going to talk to her in a little while about an event that's coming up that I think is wonderful to touch on. But Amy is, Lord is from the River Food Pantry, and thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you. Now, before we talk about that, well, let's talk a little bit about the Daisy Cafe and Cupcakery. One of my favorite places, as you know, and you have some just amazing food in front of us. So what do you have today? Okay, we're going to talk about a couple of things before we segue into some desserts, which segues into yes. the uh, event we're going to talk We've about. We've got it all Amy. planned out so for you. Don't it's worry. all good yeah. here. It is. <laughs> all right, so we're going to start today with one of the sandwiches, okay. the sandwiches we started with from day one. Yes. And it's our chicken chutney and chevre sandwich. Wow. So That's uh, some unique ingredients. It, it is. Uh, it's uh, got a lot of great different flavor yeah. combinations. So it's a, Look a at grilled this chicken. Sandwich. I'm holding it up for viewers because oh, it's oh, so pretty. Oh, lovely. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Keep it's going. grilled chicken yep. with um, a, a chutney, yeah. which is caramelized onions with currants and other herbs. Okay. And then it has a goat cheese. That's chevre, is goat cheese. Oh. So that's tangy. The chutney is a little uh -huh. sweet. I don't know which side is that. And then start. you've got savory mm -hmm. with your tomato, lettuce, and. Uh, uh, and all that on a rosemary bread, grilled rosemary bread. Take a big bite, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. That's so good. Yeah. I've had that one before, but I think it's been a while. Really good sandwich. It is one of the ones, you know, one of the many lunches. Mm -hmm. you know, we do breakfast and lunch every day from mm -hmm. 8 to 3, and lunch and dinner every day from 3 to 8. And that's one of the ones that's on the menu from 8 to 8. So you can get it anytime. I love that sandwich. Okay, that's really good. I also love salads. Yes. I am a daily salad eater, so when I go to a restaurant, I always scour their salad menu and make sure that they can feed a big salad eater like me. 
Not only do I eat a lot of salads, I like a big salad. Good. So you've got one here. What is this one? I was going to say, our salads are all hearty, and we yeah. have several of them. The one I brought today is a, our smoked salmon salad. Okay. So it starts with spring greens. Yes. It's got um, smoked salmon, um, uh, uh, gorgonzola cheese, oh, yeah, okay. dried cherries. What's the dressing? Red onion. I'm getting there. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm cheating. So many, I'm skipping so ahead. I can't wait. <laughs> so many ingredients. I've yeah. got uh, dried, uh, dried cherries, red onion, and cashews. Okay. And then the, and we I'm just have our creamy, creamy Dijon vinaigrette dressing mm -hmm. for this one. Mm. We make everything mm. from scratch, so you can mm -hmm. pick your own dressing. If you want to use our blue cheese dressing, you want to use our jalapeno ranch, you can put it on it. But I this is what it. we do for, as a basis. I love dressing that's made out of real ingredients. Uh, so hard to find that. You look at the back of the bottles in grocery stores and such, when there's a pavilion things, you don't know what they are. So real homemade dressing. No preservatives. Yes, I love it. <laughs> so good. good. Great salad. Good one to get. I do want to make sure that we segue, like you said, into our desserts and our cupcakes so that Indeed. we can talk about what's going on with the River Food Pantry. What do you have here for cupcakes? Well, first of all, I'll just say, I'll, I'll jump the gun and say our offering for this harvest dinner that we're talking about, yeah. harvest colored shirt, harvest dinner. A man with a plan. There we go. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we're, we're doing uh, mini cupcakes. So oh, these are our regular cupcakes, but we're going to be doing mini cupcakes for sure. this event. And I'm sure one of them will be this one, which we introduced as of today. It's a pumpkin cupcake with caramel cream cheese. Mm -hmm. The other we love one, seasoned pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I know, pumpkin. seasonal yeah. is good and mm -hmm. so good. And then this one is a, um, a banana pecan cake with a layer of peanut butter and a layer of chocolate. No, with you chopped didn't. Pecans. Uh -huh. That's good. This one's gluten free. This one may or may not be. We'll decide. Okay. Because it's day one. But, so you can um, make it either way. Yeah. And you guys get to call the shots. Yeah. yeah. So I love it. Okay. I'm the boss. I'm going to sure. try the new one. Can I try the new one? <laughs> Please do. Yeah. I love pumpkin. It's kind of like, you know, there's pumpkin season and then there's off pumpkin season in, in my world, and fall is pumpkin season. Exactly. So. I'm sorry. Anybody right. who wants our lemon cupcake, you're going to have to wait until next year. I'm going to do try and be girly here. All right. Let's see. What's the topping again? Tell it me is the. It's a caramel cream cheese. The pumpkin cupcake is very oh my moist, gosh. isn't it? Is it moist? No, it's is too it? good. Stop it. <laughs> and all right. spiced and all kinds of good I things. I love it. Okay. Now you work with the River Food Pantry on a few things. Let's talk about what's going on while I eat this cupcake, of course. A actually, yes. Uh, Daryl and Daisy Cafe and Cupcakery have been fabulous partners with the Ro River Food Pantry. Um, we're very excited to have them a part of our eighth annual Harvest Dinner for Hunger. That's so good. And I'm so glad he's talking pumpkin because for harvest, it'll be perfect for the dinner. Um, it is Sunday. October 1st, Okay. so less than a month away. Yes. Um, it is our largest fundraiser, and uh, the River Food Pantry is one of Dane County's busiest food pantries, so we love partnerships like this mm -hmm. to help us spread our mission of feeding people here in Dane County. Yeah. So not only Daryl, but we have other Madison Originals members, so um, would like to give a sh little shout out to them too. Sure. Absolutely. Um, Brasserie V will be doing the appetizers. Okay. Uh, Portabella will of course be doing the Portabella salad. Sure. Uh, Liliana's is going to do a butternut squash soup. Awesome. And then Cirque will be doing our main entree. Wow. So five um, different courses by five wonderful Madison Originals restaurants. What a great thing. And to yeah. remind anybody who doesn't know Madison Originals, we're all local, independent, restaurants and there are more than 50 of us now so you know if you don't want to do a chain if you want to know you're going to get your food made from mm -hmm. scratch and if you want to know you're going to have some really creative chefs mm -hmm. Madison Originals mm -hmm. restaurants yeah and they've been working Madison Originals and the restaurants have been working with the river for over a year now oh, that's great. so it's just a great partnership and it's food yeah. they know food the yeah. river knows food um, so important to spread our mission of serving Dane County residents mm -hmm. who are struggling to put food on their table. You bet. What a great yeah. way to do that. Now, is there a place that they go for more information yeah. or tickets, or yeah. how does that work? Yes, tickets are on sale. Um, they're $65 a person okay. or table of eight mm -hmm. for $520. Wow, We'd love okay. it if people want to buy tables. Oh, that'd be a great event to yeah. do as a group, Gr family. Fun, you, you bet. It's, it's fun. Um, it's just a special night to kind of hear stories and how the river has impacted the community. That's great. You can go to the river, or excuse me, riverfoodpantry.org. Mm -hmm. It's our website. Have a big old button on there that says buy tickets. Yeah. Um, we'll be selling tickets. Make it nice and easy. Yeah, nice and easy. <laughs> just push the button. I love it. Um, 
Tickets will be sold all through September. Great. So that's so. October 1st. This is Amy Lord with the River Food Pantry. And this is Daryl Sisson with the Daisy Cafe and Cupcakery, who promised that this cupcake was going to be at the event. So <laughs> got to go. Thank you Absolutely. so much for being here. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with more Restaurant Show after the break. Join us after the break for a Texas skillet from the Egg and I. Hello and welcome back to the restaurant show. I am joined now by our friend from the Egg and I. This is Steve Dascom, owner of the fabulous restaurant on the Beltline. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for that wonderful intro. You bet. <laughs> well, you know I love you. I love your food. You have fantastic stuff. Now, we're talking today about Texas skillet. Mm -hmm. This is a dish I've not had yet. What is so okay. special about this one? So, it's the only one we have that uses steak. This is actually a thin sliced sirloin. Okay. Uh, it's the same kind of meat you'd find in a Philly sandwich, actually. Yeah, I like that little fact. I didn't know that. Oops, I didn't Not break a Philly it up first. sandwich. <laughs> That's sugar. okay. It's ready to go. All right. Oh yeah. Um, actually, I kind of cheat in the store and make myself a Philly sandwich every once in a while. <laughs> we have everything there to do it. Yeah, I bet you do. There we go. So that looks really nice. I love a good sizzle as it enters the pan. Oh, so yeah. this is the only steak dish you have, but this sounds like a great one, and you turn it into a skillet. I see a few ingredients here. Tell me what else is in this dish. Okay, I got a couple shakes of this, this seasoning that we use. Okay. This is something that we mix up. Just need a little. Just a little bit of nice, good seasoning. Oh, that meat is browning nice and quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, that's one of the advantages of using this. It's very thin sliced sirloin. Got it, okay. But it's not hamburger, it's actual. It's actual sirloin. Yep. Yeah, it almost, you wouldn't almost know by looking at it, but I bet Well, it's not tasting. crumbled, like, I mean, it is yeah. sliced. Yeah, so. And then we, again, now we, we roast our own uh, mushrooms. We're okay. gonna use some mushrooms. We're gonna use our own pepper and onion awesome. mix that we roast in the store as well. Awesome, so everything's roasted in store. That might, might be one thing you don't know about the egg and I is how much of their food is really and truly made from scratch, mm -hmm. almost everything that they do, which is what makes it so good. So it's a little bit of red onions and, I mean, um, red peppers and green peppers. Uh -huh. with, and when, it, when we're talking about bell peppers, they're basically, that's the same thing, it's just different color. Right, right. They Got don't it. really add heat, they add nice flavor though. Oh, I love peppers. And some color, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, you need a little good color, mm -hmm. and some veggies. A little some... veggies justifies anything else, like this big bowl of cheese we're going to add in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's, we're not going to use all of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Some of it. It's, it's for show. <laughs> I don't know, Steve. I think, you know, uh, maybe half of it. Well, I mean, you could talk me into it. <laughs> I love gonna, a good cheese. It's not going to melt, though. <laughs> yeah. No, that's okay. I, right. I didn't bring my... Remember I brought the pizza oven ones for melting? Oh, yes. I can... Yeah. Yeah, I didn't bring that along. No so. pizza oven melting needed today. So this is the skillet. And basically, you know, we already roasted the, I mean, um, potatoes aren't roasted, they're fried, or fried on our flat top. Oh, okay. <laughs> sauteed, however you want to call gotcha. it. Gotcha, okay, so like sauteed. So for the absence of time, we went ahead and did these in advance. Right, and I also toasted the English muffin. <laughs> right, yes. So we've done this in advance. Mm -hmm. And you can't see, but the eggs are actually being cooked Steve brought his assistant along with, and yeah. uh, the eggs are being cooked off screen. So it's all happening. We got a few things mm -hmm. pre-prepared, and then the eggs go in too. Sure. And when do the eggs go in? Do they actually go no, into no, they, the No, no, they mix? go on top at the very end. They just go on top, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, they look really nice. We're gonna use ups this time too. Oh, okay. But they'll look even nicer when they're sitting on top. Sure, oh, I bet, okay, that's great. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about too, obviously with fall upcoming here and lots of kids back to school, now it's okay to still have some summer items because I'm not over summer yet. I don't know if you guys are at home, but Steve's still got some great summer menu uh, items that I think you'll be really excited about. One of my favorites we did on the show uh, I don't, maybe a couple months ago, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. was the pork bellies. The pork belly Benedict, oh, oh man. So delicious. So that's still available. That's still available. So not sure how long, but it is a yeah, summer item. I'm just running it get. out. I have a, a bunch left and uh, yeah. this but is I've, it's too I've, good not to run it out. Such <laughs> a good, yeah, a good seller and an awesome tasting dish. So highly recommend the pork bellies. Um, and then they've still got cheesecake French toast. Sure. Which says it all, right? What's not to love? And then you also have a quinoa dish, do you not? Uh-huh, yeah, okay. it's a kale quinoa um, scramble. 
Yeah, that's Remember, right. I did yep. that one in a two-part episode you recently. Did. Yep, I'm going to put this right. on here. I got to get it straight. I just about could work there. I think I, <laughs> I think I know the menu well enough at this point. So if you're looking for help, I'll be there. Okay, you got to cheese it up. This is just a regular uh, okay. uh, cheddar jack cheese. Love it. Love a good Give cheese. Some nice, uh, We'll put it all on for you. Oh, I'm so happy. It covers everything up though when I do that. I know it does, but cheese is so delicious. It's, it's so worth Wisconsin. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already already in my fork out. They haven't even added the eggs. Okay, okay, so the eggs go on top. I'm gonna Oh, they're just there's a lot of oil in this pan. Oh, that's okay. This is the the made for TV. Uh, more oil, more cheese version of this Texas scramble. Oh, you're doing good. There you go. I would have, I would have not done so good. Here, I'll help you with a little fork. There you are. Oh, it is so pretty with the eggs on top. So this is the Texas scramble. Now you say lots of people ask you what's in it, right, or what it. A lot what of people don't know what's in it, and when they get it, they're surprised by what it looks like. They sure. don't understand how these things are put together and presented. Yeah. Dude, um, I don't know. I'm gonna cut into an egg. Can I do oh, that? Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know. I, sometimes I'm not sure the right. What's the Texas scramble etiquette, right? Oh well, it's, it's pretty much. Uh, it's a free for all. <laughs> In Texas, if it's bigger is better, right? Bigger is better. <laughs> do, do it however you like. All right, a little dip. This looks good. I talked Steve into the extra cheese. Yes, a taste, in, a taste in every bite is what we're looking for. Yeah, see, <laughs> it's hard to do that, but I think I've managed to layer it up pretty well. <laughs> Mmm, yeah, delicious. Mm hmm A little bit hot, but yes, very delicious. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks it's steaming. <laughs> oh, it's awesome though, I love it. So good, okay. So you can get this, you can still get the pork bellies, and then um, for a little bit while longer, the, the French toast and the quinoa dish. So if you're still in the mood for summer, but man, this is awesome, I love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And for fall, when we do get that whole menu rolling, mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be, uh, we're already running the soup. It's a harvest bisque. That's an everyday soup along with our daily soup. Oh, awesome. And then we also have um, the pumpkin pecan waffle coming back. Ooh, okay. Some good fall ones. Oh, yeah. That and the, uh, what do they call it? Harvest hash. Oh, that one's wow. really good. We're going to start a new juice, but we haven't started it yet. So. Okay. So to be determined. Steve managed to talk down to the very last second, <laughs> so we got to go to break. But thanks for being here, Steve. Love it. The egg and I is on the belt line. You must go there, it's awesome, and you must stay tuned because we're going to be right back. Thank you so much for joining us for today's restaurant show. I had a ton of fun with you checking out all these great local restaurants. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, reminding you that life is too short to eat average.